Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about email outreach and more specifically, how you can go about finding success with email outreach and save yourselves a lot of time. Maybe you've used email outreach within your business or you're looking to find a new way of outreaching to prospects. Whatever the case, I'm gonna share with you today the sort of standard method that a lot of people take. And then I'm gonna share with you a automated personalized version, which is gonna allow you to send emails out at mass, get a much better response and start generating more meetings within your business. So before we jump onto the computer, I just wanted to say that over 90% of you watching my videos haven't yet subscribed, which is madness. So if that's you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like the content, give it a thumbs up as well. I'd really appreciate that. Also, I'd really like to know what sort of outreach methods you're using within your web design business and which ones you have or have not found success with. Let me know down in the comments. Now, if you also didn't know, I have launched a new Facebook group called Web Design in Elementor, and it's designed to help people like you learn and up their web design game when it comes to generating more clients and improving their web design skills. So if you're interested in that, there is a link down in the description or there'll be a pinned comment. Click it, sign up to the group, answer all the questions, and uh, you'll be joining the community of like-minded people. Now, without further ado, let's jump on the machine and talk through this. So here we have a five-step process, and this is what I call the standard method. So you've probably heard me speak about this before. Now, the first step of this process is to turn to Google to try and find the business that you want to work with. And what I recommend you do is search for a specific niche and your location. So let's say dentistry in London. Go to around page five and have a look at the quality of the websites that are sitting around that space. If there's a business that you feel like you can help when it comes to web design, then that is obviously a perfect candidate and that is who you would then reach out to. So the st second stage that we have here is what I call personalized email. Now the keyword there is personalized because you can't send a bog standard cookie cutter uh, email that looks as if it's been sent to thousands of people because people won't read it. You know, We've become very accustomed to receiving what's called spam. So you have to make it as personalized as you possibly can. And a couple of ways that you can do this is by using their name within the email, their business name, their email address, uh, things like that. It shows that you haven't just sent a generic plain email. Now the idea of this personalized email is to just say, hey, I've been on your website and I noticed X, Y, and Z. I've got a couple of ideas I'd like to share with you. Would you be happy to receive a free video audit so I can talk and share these ideas through with you? So this then brings us on to the next step. Hopefully they agree to the uh, video. And what we then do is we record our screen using a tool called Loom. So Loom will allow you to record your screen and it will turn on your webcam and it will record you sharing your advice, uh, your thoughts on their website, and it adds that sort of extra layer of personalization because they've already got an idea of who you are, what you look like, what you sound like, and what it would possibly be like to work with you. Now, once we've sent the Loom video out, you'll get a notification to say whether they've watched it or not. And that's really good because if they don't respond to your Loom, you can then follow up and say, hi, I noticed that you watched uh, my video, what do you think of it? And then hopefully a, a response is prompted that way. And then the fourth step is trying to get them onto that Zoom call. So having that sort of conversation with them to learn more about them, their business, where they're looking to go, and then you can share with them how you can specifically get them to where they wanna be by way of a new website. And then once you've done the Zoom call, hopefully you know, you've closed them, you've got yourself a new client. So here we've got a pretty simple five-step process. Now, the trouble with this is if you're utilizing this method one client per time, this could take you a good, what? Stage one and two could take around 50 minutes for you to find a business and um, email out to them. The looms wise, you can't really speed that process up. It's down to you how much value you wanna give during that process. And the same with the Zoom, you never really know how long it's going to go. So the thing with emails is it's kind of a numbers game. The more people that you can reach out to, the higher chance you have of getting a response. So that is why I use what I call a personalized automation method. It's pretty much the same five step processes, except there's a couple of steps that we look to automate. So take a look at this. So this time we've got six steps rather than five. You'll notice that we have an extra step. So let me talk you through this now. 
So instead of going to Google to find your leads, we are going to utilize what we call a lead list. And there's tons of software online which are gonna allow you to download a library of businesses, including their contact names, their uh, business addresses, what they do, and of course, include their email addresses. And what's great is you can go really niche and location specific. So if you are looking for uh, like fitness studios or dentistry or carpenters or whatever in London or any other location that's relevant to you, you can search all of those businesses. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna pull down a spreadsheet and it's gonna have all the information that you need and you can utilize those email addresses to send an email to every single one of them. So go and have a look at some lead list generation software. Uh, just to give you an idea, we use D7 Leads at the moment, so that is a tool that is very good, uh, but there are others out there, so go and have a Google search. Now, this brings us on to step two, and I've got here personalized email template. Now, you're probably sat there thinking, well, if we're gonna be sending an email out to hundreds of people, how are we gonna personalize it? Now, there are tools out there that allow us to create a template and pull in specific bits of personalized data from the spreadsheet that we've got from our lead list, and that's how we can then start sending mass email out in a personalized way. So we do need to write out the email as we would in our standard method, um, but there will be a couple of placeholders in there which will contain personalized information. So this then moves us on to stage three. Now this is the new section, and this is where we will use a mass email automation tool. What this is going to allow us to do is pull all of the relevant information from our lead list and push it into our email. So a great tool that I use is a Google extension called GMAS, and this also allows us to run follow-ups. So while this step is completely automated, what is, what's gonna happen is we're gonna take our template and we're gonna load all of our email addresses from our lead field, and this could be one, two, three, or 400 emails, guys. So that's how many you could be sending out each day. Now, once we've sent all of those emails out at mass, we can create a sequence of auto follow-ups. So if you don't get a response in say two days time, you could just send them a little nudge and say, hey, did you get my email? And if you still don't get a response in seven days time, you could say, look, I just wanted to check that you're getting my emails. Uh, it would be really awesome to have a chat with you about this. And if you still don't get an email in like seven days, you can say, look, I just wanted to check you're receiving my emails. Um, I've got a few ideas I really, really wanna share with you. Let me know when you're free. And if you don't get a response after say seven days, then it's probably fair to say that they're not going to respond. So email automation by way of GMAS is gonna be an incredible tool for you to go and have a look and start implementing into your business. So guys, it's these three steps here which are gonna be key for automating email outreach within your business. We use a lead list, we personalize the email for a template, and then we send it out using a tool. The final three steps remain the same. You know, once you get a response from an email, you would then record the loom for them. There are ways that you can automate this if you wanted to use uh, like a member of the team or whether you want to use a virtual assistant or something like that. Also, when you send the loom out to the business, you want to include something like a Calendly link because that's going to allow them to click on the calendar link, choose a time to book in with you that is suitable for them, and of course, when you are available. It kind of avoids that whole backwards and forwards of, hi, yeah, I'd like to book in, when are you free? You go back with the time, they say no, can't do that, you propose a new time, and essentially Calendly is just going to take all of that out. So once they've booked in with your Calendly, you're then going to get on that Zoom call, they already have an idea of what you're like because you've sent them the, the loom and then hopefully you can convert them into a client. So you can see the differences between these two approaches. We've got a standard method with our five steps, which you would do for an individual business. You would run through the five steps and then you would have to like loop back through, restart that process and so on and so on. So the personalized automation method allows you to do this at mass. And although we still get a lot of clients through word of mouth within our agency, Email outreach is still a very prominent part of the business of how we go about finding new clients. So guys, hopefully you've found that useful. If you do have any questions about email automation and how you go about using email outreach within your business to find web design clients, join the Facebook group that I mentioned in the beginning. There is a link down in the description or alternatively, you can just drop me a comment and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. Now, before I go, please remember to subscribe, hit the like button if you found this useful and I will see you in the next video.